Hello and welcome to our tutorial video covering the display statement screen in the receivables module of ESC. Please note that if you are integrated with QuickBooks or Peachtree that you will have access to this screen, but only customers with outstanding balances will display statements. For a true history of customer transactions, you will need to refer to the account statements in your accounting software. Regardless of whether you are using ESC accounting, ESC is a standalone product, or an integrated accounting solution, you will be able to access this screen by navigating to Receivables and Display Statements. When we select a customer to view their ESC billing statement, ESC will automatically generate a monthly statement based upon the current date. If you would like to issue a customer a statement from a prior month, simply click the Previous Month button. The Next Month and Previous Month buttons give you the ability to move through each monthly financial period to view a summary of the pertinent account activity. If you wish to see more detail regarding invoices and the associated payments received, you can click Entire History and view more specific transaction details. Notice that when viewing the statements, that any of your customers configured to be assessed finance charges on past due payments will not show the finance charges. These will be calculated when the statements are processed and printed or emailed directly to the customer. From the Display Statement screen, we have the ability to individually view and process a customer's account statement. But what if we want to process account statements for all of your customers with an outstanding balance? By navigating to Receivables and Print slash Email Statements, we are able to generate a batch of customer statements by statement period, aging status, and even just by customer name. ESC will default to an aging status of all. This means that any customer with an open invoice that is not on hold will display and a statement period of the current month. We also have the ability to designate a message that will print uniformly in the header of each generated statement. This can be left blank or used with a message such as remittance due immediately. When we are satisfied with the values entered on this screen, simply click Next and ESC will begin generating your statements. When this completes, we are presented with the list of the customer statements to be processed. If at any point you would like to preview a customer's statement from this screen, you can simply double-click on their customer name to retrieve their account statement. Also notice that any finance charges calculated on the statements are clearly outlined. All that is left is to review which customers are receiving printed statements or emailed statements. Check the appropriate box and be sure to enter the customer's email address if there is not one already present when selecting email. Select the Process button and ESC will begin printing and emailing your statements. This concludes the tutorial video for generating monthly statements in ESC. Thank you for watching.